girls, tell us a bit about your project and how the idea came about. Well, um, a year and a half ago we took part in Synthesis R&D and part, as part of a Goldcrest Award and Camlin Technologies was linked up to us and they had the problem of shipping their or transporting their products to different areas in Ireland through, with the lorry and their wires from their products would come loose or connections would break so we made a machine that would simulate the vibrations produced from the back of a lorry just so they could test in their labs whether or not their products could withstand the vibrations. So tell us about how you went about making a machine, like a, is it like a, a, a gyro or it stops the vibrations or how did you go about that and what exactly does it do? Um, our machine is powered by pneumatics and to come up with the frequencies that simulate the same as a condition for the lorries we found a free phone app for our Android phones so we basically borrowed a lorry, lorry, a lorry <laughs> off them and so set it in the lorry and then drove about in different road surfaces including you know um, like bumpy areas or potholes and so we got these four sets of frequencies so we got these frequencies and we um, did loads of equations and got ended up with um, the, this set of data that we were able to program into a Zilio PLC chip. So we programmed this um, this chip, and now they. Uh, it, I wish I could show you it because it's been taken away because it was just too big for the stand. Um, it powers these four pneumatic pistons on the four sides of the table, so it moves up and down at this frequency specific to the lorry. And can that be controlled from an app or from a phone or, or, or what way can that be controlled? How do they program that? Well, we put it in, we were able to program the PLC chip from the computer. So we basically put the data into the computer and it was able to put into this wee circuit chip, which is now on the device. So all we have to do is press on and you could leave it for hours on end. So how, however long you want to test a product for, you could leave it for 15 hours and you could leave it there. But we went further than that. So we said that you couldn't test a product for 15 hours. There's not a 15 hour working day. So we compress this time using the compression intensity equation. So now we can do, say, 15 hours of transport. It'll only take our product three hours to do it. So. Um, and what about the findings? Have you found it to be effective then? Oh yes, Camlin Power actually are currently using our product. We had to borrow it for them for this competition at the minute. So I think it's been quite successful. They estimated that we had saved them £2,000 in the first year on returns of their products and shipping them out again and actually fixing them. It's fantastic that what you've taken has real life application. Um, where do you go from here in developing that then? Well, we theoretically have proved that the the product works by equations and intensity equations and a whole lot of maths behind that but practically we have to prove it further by actually putting the their products into a lorry testing the say for 15 hours and then seeing comparing the damage to the actual test for the three hours just to just for a visual representation to know for us that that's works. And, and I believe the product you're saying it's actually too big to be on yeah. display here but we'll get a chance to have a look at it. Has the, have you had a chance to be judged yet? Have the judges been around yet or is that no, imminent? Judges are coming at 4.40 for us today. So. Girls, we wish you all the very best with that. So Good luck and fantastic work. Well done. Okay, thank you very much.